You guys already know that you're awesome, and I'm just here to say thank you. Because every single time we wanted something in the game, it's all because of you that we've made it happen. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it, and I'm so thankful to have such an amazing community. I woke up this morning to some pretty amazing news, and that is we are actually getting Whitetail in the new map coming up, which is going to be... Well, we don't know for sure yet, but probably within a couple weeks. Usually it's within a couple weeks or something like that. So anyways, the point is we're super psyched. And not only that, it's because of you guys. You guys are all watching the videos. You're commenting on the videos. You're having a conversation, putting your thoughts and feedback out there. And that is in fact getting our voices heard by a lot of people. And that's very, very important, especially in an awesome hunting game with such a great community like we have already. So yeah, I think that's pretty amazing news. I'm not 100% sure it's going to be um, Mexico, but I'm like 98% sure. Um, I've been to Arizona before. When I was 19, I went there to Flagstaff, Arizona on an elk hunt. And the terrain in today's trailer for the EW video, uh, it looked nothing like Arizona. But I mean, there's parts of Arizona that I haven't been to. So I don't really know if potentially it could be a different part. But I'm still definitely leaning a lot towards uh, Mexico, New Mexico exact. I don't know about the terrain because like I said before, I'm not 100% sure it's going to be Mexico or I keep saying Mexico, New Mexico. Um, but either way, it's going to be pretty amazing to be able to actually hunt these guys on a fresh new map where we've never actually hunted for whitetail before. It's going to be really cool having some different terrain to actually be able to hunt whitetail finally. Um, it seemed like a lot of it is going to be woods and there might be some openings down on the bottom, but I didn't really see a lot of water on the new map, which is I'm definitely in favor of that because um, it's so much cooler to be able to hunt a lot of the terrain, you know, and try and figure out where uh, the animals are bedding or eating for the most part. If you saw yesterday's video, we did take down that giant mule deer and we were at least like 400 yards away from the nearest water source and that's kind of the thing i didn't really want to find him near water i wanted to find him in his natural habitat and that's what we did we took him out quite a ways away from the water as he was bedded and all of that i do believe that was my first ever diamond mule deer or diamond anything that i've snuck up on and took as it was bedded but there he is right there 28 yards away holy he's actually quartering a pretty good bit but i don't mind that angle i just want to square up a little bit more try and get behind that sun a little bit too much there okay there he is 25 yards away i'm just freaking out right now i can't believe how big this buck is now, we got to hold low. Definitely got to hold low. I think we're going to take the shot, though. Yeah. I feel really confident about the shot. Oh, my God. He actually got up right when we took the shot. <gasps> But we smoked him. He was quartering away so much that we got some good penetration. Wow. That buck was so smart that he actually reacted to the shot and tried to basically dodge the arrow. But luckily enough for us, we put it right on the money and here he is. One incredible giant buck. Oh my God. Let's take a picture of him. That's going to be it. Let's pick him up. Holy, he's a huge diamond, a 320 giant diamond muley. We took him at 28 yards and pulled off a quartering away left lung liver intestine shot. So we actually made a perfect quartering away shot on that buck there. But it was just a reaction after we took that shot where he got up and turned. But look at that incredible buck. Wow. Now that also got me thinking, are we going to get turkeys on the new map? Is it going to be the same species of turkey or a different species of turkey? Obviously there's going to be a completely different species in New Mexico, but are we going to actually get a new model or is it going to be very similar to the one that we have right now? Either way, it would be really cool to have turkeys on another map as well. Um, one thing I would like to see is the scoring system 
on the turkeys completely revamped because right now it's just like shooting a duck and in real life a turkey is nowhere near shooting a duck it's way more about you know the size of the beard how big the spurs are and how old the bird is and right now all we can tell is pretty much how old the bird is basically um based off the weight and that's pretty much it so if we can actually tell you know how many beards it has how long the beard is how thick it is any one of the above would be amazing and especially here's the thing if we could at least get how long the beard is and how long the spurs are i'll be super pumped about that but anyways that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time oh yeah and one more thing hello whitetail